everybody, and welcome to Larry's Country Diner. We're going to have a good time today. Gene Watson's over here. He's going to sing for us. Larry and I are going to sing with No, I won't. Threaten what, you're not singing it? Uh, well, we'll do the bass part. Okay. okay. All right. Now, okay. here's one of the wisest men I know. You know? <laughs> he, just the other day, just out of nowhere, he says, Keith, it is illegal to sell logs in Tennessee. Don't even try. Okay. There's Larry. I'm not sure I understand that. <laughs> You're not supposed to. You just, is that a legitimate law? Yeah, that's right. From what year? Uh, I'm not sure. Same one that said your food stamps will be stopped effective March 2020 because we received notice that you passed away. May God bless you. You may reapply if there is a change in your circumstances. There you go. Oh, I forgot to say. It's hollow logs. You can't sell. Oh, them. hollow logs. You yeah. told me. Don't you remember that? Not, not when I told you they were full of stuff. Oh, okay. They you guys hollow. want to start the show over? Oh, yes. No, yeah, let's just do, start over. <laughs> we're doing the, the, uh, the, the promise. Let's get a good one. As opposed to a bad one? It, there are no bad promises. Well, there's, there's no. one in here signed Renee. <laughs> I forgot he's a guy that whites out parts mm -hmm. of the Bible he, he doesn't like. Huh? Dear Lord. Make me aware of the many opportunities about me to serve Christ and my fellow man. And John 12, 26 says, if any man serve me, him will my father honor. I like that. Like those promises. Yes. Sir. I was saying about those when I woke up this morning. Because uh, we literally used to do that around breakfast time every morning at the black household in uh, Mobile, Alabama, when Dad was a pastor down there, and uh, promises were always very good. And about three or four years ago, I did a promise book from all the promises that we had in the diner, and I actually put the person that was on the show that day. Do we have one with Gene Watson? Yeah, we do. Are you going to find it for me? No, because I didn't bring my book. <laughs> you have to buy the book. <laughs> have to buy the book. How quickly they hey, all we, the promise. we have spoiled it. Gene Watson. Yeah. He's here today. Yeah. 50th year anniversary tour, 1962. I think that 60th. What did I say? You said 50th. He's that old? <laughs> he doesn't look it, but yes. 60th anniversary. Six, what threw me was I looked at 62 and I thought, I graduated from high school in 61. Yeah. What is this? Something happened. It did. <laughs> 60, man. I'm so pleased for you. It's a pleasure to be here, Larry. And you've been in great voice all of those 60 years. You bet. Well, I don't know so much about it. The rest of me is a wreck. <laughs> I, I tell everybody, you know, I think my voice is still intact. It's just getting it out that's about to kill me. That's let me, right. Let me tell you something. Uh, when I, all the years I was with the opera, any time Gene Watson showed up, he was admired by so many oh, of yes. the greats. Ernest Tubb was one of his biggest fans. They all loved to introduce him. They'd all gather around backstage to hear him sing. I mean, there wouldn't be anybody in, in the refreshment room where yep. Gene Watson was yeah. on stage. <laughs> Not only that, he has a humongous, loyal fan base. You bet. Everybody loves Got the best fans in the world. You do. Except for Larry. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, I don't mind being second. Oh, listen to you. It is so great for you to be here with us. It's a pleasure to be here. It's uh, so good to be not only celebrating 60 years, but just to be able to be out and around again. You, you know? That's right. Uh, to we know that at this beautiful age I am, <laughs> I'm still kicking, you know. And it's you lived a, through COVID and everything. I, man, I've made it through all of it. I don't know how. Uh, I do. I just, uh, thanks for a lot of prayers from a lot of people and, and some doctors and a lot of me uh, medicine, yep. you know, and trying my best to do what they tell me to do. I actually thank God for doctors and medicine. Exactly. I think you're right. Well, I think the good Lord gave us the intelligence to go to the doctor when we're sick, you know, because he gave <laughs> them the intelligence to work on us. That's right. <laughs> and so I try to keep that in mind, although I don't necessarily go along with them sometime. Like my sister said, I said, sister, uh, you got COVID? She said, well, they say I do, but I don't think I do. <laughs> there you go. I said, they give you any medicine? Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to take it. <laughs> 
I said, oh, did you ever stop to think you might die? She said, well, maybe I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> when you put it like that. Yeah. You know what? Since you're here, getting ready for your anniversary tour, why don't you start us off with a song? Yeah. We'll try to do it. I stay out late most every night until closing time, trying to find a way to drain your memory of my mind, and even if. That's when I reach over in the car and crank it way up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, I got a couple of the guys up here hipping me. Uh, this is my band leader, Chad Phillips, our piano player back here. We call him Baby G. His name's Glenn. And we got the great Ben Hall over here hipping us out. We got the rest of the Farewell Party Band over gonna, our staked out of the table. I was going to yeah. say, turn that camera around over here and grab those four people sitting there. Yeah, that's Gene's junior varsity team right there. They, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the bass player, the drummer, and the steel guitar player over there. They're kind of oh. idling today. Yeah. Well, I, I was going to see if we couldn't drag a bass out someplace and just let him sit over there in pantomime. Yeah. <laughs> pantomime his part. Yeah, he's always <laughs> keeping time to the music. <laughs> that's just part of your signature. You know? I love <laughs> Well, that's band. part of his signature. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go around like... <laughs> Now, you said from the day he auditioned, he was doing that. From the first time we took him out. And, you know, I'm an old laid-back redneck country boy that <laughs> tries to sing a ballad like a ballad. He can find a way to get a drive out of a waltz, you know. <laughs> and I didn't know when I hired him, I was hiring an ex-rock and roller, you know. <laughs> and we hit the stage. He's ready. <laughs> and he don't play a bass. He snatches and grabs and tears and rips and snorts. <laughs> He's a good one, though. See how we talk about you when you're not here? Uh, <laughs> we're talking about a guy that when I hired him, he was wearing spandex pants. Ooh. Ooh. He had hair for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you see him over there? Uh, yeah, yeah. How long that means he, enough. How long has he been on the road with you? 
He's been on the road with me 25 years. My goodness. Wow. 25 years. The drummer's been with me like, what, 15 years? Mm-hmm. 17. <laughs> Funny how time flies when you're trying to catch up. <laughs> you see, I've been out here celebrating 60 years, and when COVID hit, they shut us down for 14 straight months. Oh, wow. Mm. And I'm not one of those guys that sings in the shower or walks around, you know, singing to the radio. And so when it finally did ease up, uh, I went up to Chad's place. He's got a music place, you know, with barn, but fixed out music room. And, and I thought, I better go up here and check this out, you know, just because I can say my ABCs don't mean I can sing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I went up there and he had a list. And he said, I said, man, let's start off with something easy because I didn't know whether I could sing or not. He said, let me look at the list. And he said, you ain't got no easy ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's but, true. Uh, thanks to the good Lord above, like I say, and all the prayers and all that. Yep. We're back out, and I hadn't got quite the air I did have, but I'm getting it back slowly but surely. Boy, I love it. Mm. Thanks for being here. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Larry's Country Down yeah. Jim Watson. Good stuff. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. All right, and we will be right back in just a moment. Larry's Country Down don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss any of this. Welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. Well, I'll just warn you, Gene, your favorite dance partner's coming up. Nadine will make an appearance here at Larry's Country Diner. Don't go anywhere. I think it's time. Yeah, Whoa, that's her music. Here she comes. Look out, world. Let the lady in. How you doing, Nadine? I'm doing pretty good. You know, I was coming in from the parking lot, and some woman was out there standing there, and she's just staring at me the whole time I was walking through the parking lot. So people nowadays are so judgmental, I can tell just by looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's deep right there. It is. Think hey, about Jean? it a minute. <laughs> How you doing? Well, we ain't seen you in a long time. In fact, it's been a year, eight months, and 41 days, I think. <laughs> it's been too long. You ain't going to be judgmental, are you? <laughs> no, not on you. Other people, yes. But where, where's that Staley? That's the one I'll be judging. Staley's right oh, there. there. Right there. I miss you, buddy. <laughs> I miss those moves. <laughs> Y'all like my cup? That's nice. I got yeah. one. I know. Just <clears throat> Gene yeah. Watson's 60th anniversary tour. Yep. Somebody doesn't have one. <clears throat> <laughs> Well, I just got through with breakfast with my sister-in-law. That's a joy. I don't know that I understand that. Well, I would hope you could get that the way I said it. She, uh, she's always bragging about her ancestry coming from Alexander the Great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nadine, where is your family from? I said, I don't know. Ours got lost in the flood. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'll never understand people's fascination with ancestry. I mean, knowing your current family, isn't that bad enough? <laughs> <laughs> well, January 1, I started going without chocolate. 12 days into it, I lost hearing in my left ear. Oh. That's my right ear. Yeah, can't, right can't ear. Take a chance. So I had to do something. So, uh, so I found do? out that Eat chocolate, chocolate uh, so far, 20, I, I was trying to find out how much chocolate would cause happiness. So far, it's not 26 pieces. <laughs> it's got to be more than that. Mm -hmm. Did you get your hearing back? No, I haven't. Huh? I haven't got my smell or my hearing back. I lost that too. Now you got your smell back. I went to the dentist last week. I had to get a, my teeth cleaned and he came in there and he said, well, Nadine, let me tell you something. You know what, woman, you need a crown. I said, that's right. I thought so. <laughs> been saying that for years. That's right. I was talking to a guy in a diner the other day. You know, they say that um, stupidity was caused by lack of information. Well, after Facebook, you know that ain't true anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to a guy in a diner the other day, and I said, you know, what did our parents do to kill boredom? years ago. He said, you know, I was thinking the same thing. I was asking my 26 brothers and sisters that, and they couldn't think of it either. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But you know what? This younger generation, if you think you're smarter than the previous generation, in a car manual, it used to tell you how to adjust valves. Mm -hmm. Now it tells you not to drink the contents of the battery. Yeah. <laughs> that tells you something. Think about it. Speaking of yep. stupidity, my, my nephew, his wife just had it, and she wrote a note and stuck it on the refrigerator and said, this ain't working. I'm out of here. Goodbye. And he, he came over to the house the other night, and he told me about it, and he said, I opened the door. I looked at it. Everything seems to be working. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't working. Goodbye. I'm going to go put a sign up. Yeah, I wish you would. It's, <laughs> this is for Gene. It says, a song in the heart will put a smile on your face. Oh, there you Ooh. go. Speaking of song in my heart, why don't we get one on the TV here? From somewhere outside, I hear the street vendor cry. Feel a gumbo. From my window, I see him going down the street, and he don't know that she fell right to sleep in the damp tangled sheets so soon. Take a break in a minute. There's a couple of things to remember. Old is when getting a little action means you don't need to take any fiber today. Oh, is that it? <laughs> yep. Amen. Old is when getting lucky means you find your car in the parking lot. I've noticed that, yeah. And old is when an all-nighter means not getting up to use the bathroom. There you go. Yeah. Done them all. Larry, I, I, what? I, something's... 
I just noticed it today. Something is not quite right in this room. It's just something's been moved around. And, and I just noticed there's Whoa. a jacket up here. It, Shades of Malpas. Yeah, that looks like a Malpas coat, doesn't it? What's the deal here? Huh. Whoa! I knew well, that was going to happen. <laughs> there goes my uh, trophy. No, the trophy's fine. The water is turned over. <laughs> but I'm telling you, there's something going on here. Renee, have you been moving stuff around? Well, I actually saw this on some security camera. Really? Yeah. Is that poison ivy? Maybe we need to... <laughs> no. Maybe we... Check the cameras. Yeah, maybe we can do that. But thanks for making a mask key. Uh, anytime. Yeah. All right, we'll do that. <laughs> Wait, just clean up that water with that Yeah, jacket. here, listen. <laughs> I, I don't know. Let's check the security camera. We'll, we'll come back and take We'll a be back in a minute. Ooh. Weird. Hey. You know, Can I say? We, we checked the cameras. Yeah. And here's what we saw. If we're going to make the Super Bowl halftime next year, we're really going to have to step it up and you know, do some hip hop. Yes, yeah, Taylor. Malpas. Yeah. <laughs> Got the diner to myself tonight. I didn't know what you was doing for dinner. <laughs> Woo, doggy. I'm going I'm to hire these people out to. The Letterman show. Or yeah, something. that's right. They, if they're in, there's no more Letterman. No, there's show, no there? more Letterman. They would be a waste of calls. <laughs> Gene Watson thought that was really funny. <laughs> All right. Well, what does he know? He's on his 60th anniversary. That's tour. right. Gene Watson's here today. Boy, are we glad to have him. Yeah. Tell you what. Give us another song. Then we're going to go to the Cavenders. We'll do it. Still recall the morning that I met you Standing out in front of Wilson's fly and dying Staring through the window at the jewelry Hungry for the things you couldn't buy Just like a fool I thought that I could please you Good, 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 good. 
Gene Watson. 60th anniversary tour. I have something here in my hand that resembles or that is a replica of your bus. And it's one of those things that we are getting so used to. All of the, um, a lot of cars don't have CDs in them anymore. Nope. But they'll have a USB port. You can plug this thing into it. What, you've got one that's loose already, right? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, this amazed me when I first, of course, I, I'm from back in the sticks. I mean, uh -huh. I'm, I mean, I'm so country, I make corn look up town. <laughs> but when they came to me with this, the first thing, I bought a truck, and on my way home, I discovered it didn't have no CD player uh -huh. in it. Yeah. I, I went back and let them have what for. <laughs> but then they informed me that ain't none of the new vehicles got them. That's right. So I told my crew, I said, we're going to have to do something. So this is what we got. This is an exact replica. replica. It's good after you learn how to talk. <laughs> of my bus. But the only difference is you can pull the nose off of it like that. And it plugs in that little old eight, but, USB. USB. USB port. <laughs> I get my initials mixed. It's like chicken man talking about that chicken being full of GTOs. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's amazing to think about there being 25 little old CDs in there. Wow. Inside Isn't that, that bus. Ain't that, 25 are the biggest songs I ever recorded inside that bus right there. Mm. The biggest ones are in that. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the little ones in the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I better put that on there while I'm still ahead because I That's can't right. get behind in a hurry. It almost looks like a piece of candy. You just don't chomp down on it. Huh? It, it, it don't. It won't. It's, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's incredible what technology has done. And a six-year-old would know exactly. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They grab it and say, "Give me that thing." And you snatch the thing off the front. And stick if it, got it in stuck, the stuck, they'd know how to fix it. You know? And you know, I, I've got to say that uh, our fans, where we play and everything. They love these things because yep. they they know the same thing I do about not being no CDs in them new yeah. cars. They know it's got a little old port in there, but they don't know what it's for. Yeah. And when I tell them about it, then it all comes clear. <laughs> Honey, you go out to the rack and give me one of them things. <laughs> Welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. I, I was just noticing our special today, Gene Watson's 14 carat roast beef sandwich with special Texas barbecue sauce, coleslaw fries, and sweet tea. So good, you'll be ready to audition for the farewell party band. It's good. That's Larry. Ooh, 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 I like it. Gene, as always, you do a fantastic job. Thanks Thank for being here. Let's get another Real song pleasure. out of you. For the world 
took me astray on his 60th Thank anniversary you. tour. Somebody get him some oxygen, quick. <laughs> That's it. We're done. Get us out of here. Hey, thank you so much for joining us for Larry's Country Diner. Gene, that was just fantastic. Thank you so Marvelous. much, Keith. 60 years a man can still hit the high note on Farewell Party. <laughs> Join us next week. Right here, Larry's Country Diner. I got one more thing. Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling, and we don't care. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>